The notion of intelligence has baffled psychologists for just about as long as psychology has existed. So first of all, let's clear up a few myths about the classic IQ test. Initially, it was designed solely to differentiate children with developmental delays and not to be used in a, as an assessment of actual intelligence. Furthermore, since its original conception, many individuals, professionals and societal members alike, have disputed its criteria, claiming that it doesn't include all aspects of intelligence. Since then, we've explored multiple intelligences, such as linguistic intelligence, which you could say I'm displaying right now, musical intelligence, I got my ticket for the long way round, do with the prettiest of views, visual intelligence, which these drawings should show you that I have none of, interpersonal intelligence, which explains why I'm studying to be a psychologist, logical intelligence, which is really useful in university, and physical intelligence. All that being said, what do you need to know about me to make me Canada's smartest person? Well, my name is Alicia and I'm from Toronto, Ontario. I'm currently 20 years old, a full-time honor student at the University of Toronto, where I'm also employed as a teaching assistant and a research assistant at Baycrest. I'm helping to co-found Minds Matter, a magazine focused on mental health, and I started my own publishing company back in 2012, the same year that I published my first novel. So, am I Canada's smartest person? Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it.